Signing in. Everyday superpower. Pimping and hoeing is legal. It's legal. Didn't you know? Pimping and hoeing is the structure that these corporations and these successful businesses operate on. Who's in pimp position? Are you a pimp or are you a hoe? Do you work for a pimp? Is somebody pimping you right now? Is the system pimping you? A pimp will sell a dream to the hoes, to the working girls. He will sell a dream. If you work for me, you will be rich, you will receive riches, you will receive comfort, you will receive that as to which you don't receive at this moment in time. When you apply for a job at a workplace, you are applying for a reason. You are asking for something that you do not have. You are asking that person at the other side of the desk to fulfill your need, such as the working girl who needs management or who has been sold an idea that she needs management to succeed in this world. You have bills to pay, you have responsibilities, you need a job. You need a job. As the pimps say, the game is to be sold and not told. You don't get told how to go out there and make the money ASAP. No one gives that information because they learn it themselves, they apply it themselves. Perhaps they are in a society and community of pimps who give each other the information within reason and they grow together but your general person gets told to go and get a job go and get employed go and sign the contract to go and sign the contract and make the manager the owner of the company the franchisee make them money go make them money who is the franchisee getting pimped out by the brand CEO. You go out there. You go out there and sell my product. And bring me back my money. The system. The structure. Who purchases from the hoes. The Johns. The tricks. Your commuters on the high street. Your clientele. You work for a pharmacist, you're a sales representative, you're a hoe. Who owns you? Who are you making money for? Who is your boss making money for? Who is buying the product? The tricks? Pimping is legal. It just works in a mysterious fashion. It doesn't work within the realms of... Well, it doesn't clearly, overtly work in the realms it's advertised the way the media portrays it a pimp will have a bottom hoe what's a bottom hoe? a bottom hoe is his main bitch yeah first and foremost a pimp will have a stable what's a stable? a stable is a workforce of girls I'm six girls strong seven girls strong I got ten girls in my stable that's a workforce what's the bottom bitch the girl who has proved herself and has got into the good grace of the pimp gets a little bit more gets in a relationship with the pimp potentially or is sold the fact that they might do what's her role to hold the other girls in line to do the job that the pimp doesn't want to do anymore as he lurks behind the curtain. Still generates, still takes the money. But now the bottom bitch can try to please master. What's the bottom bitch? It's the supervisors. If it's not the supervisors, what is it? It's the management working for the owner of the company. 
The pimp has built it from the ground up, placing himself in pimp position, top position, and now has a workforce, a corporation. Hoes tapping away on a keyboard, chasing a carrot on a stick, because they are told you will be promoted one day. But regardless of a promotion, where you're going to be, you're still going to be below the pimp. You're still going to be generating money for the pimp. The hoes become dependent on the pimp, right? What does a job get sold at? Competitive wage. Competitive with what? Why can't you give me more? Do you know why they can't give you more? Because if, paradoxically, if they give you more and you earn more, you have more power and you can leave. But if you are dependent on being employed under said individual or work workplace or corporation, you stay reliant. The boss will always, if the boss does a good job, they will showcase that they don't need you. You will see people around you, other hoes getting fired because they don't do a good enough job keeping you in line. And the only way you will feel security is if you act up and act or fall in line with the fact that you're getting paid the amount you're getting paid and making the income you're making for the boss. If you fall within the rules, but the moment you step outside of them rules, we got problems and you might have to be disciplined. Violence won't come in the physical form. But you can have a bad day at work, right? Where else do we go from this? Look at the industries. The music industry. It's sold to the world. That these pop stars are something, some people to be admired, right? What have they done? They've sold a contract. They've been sold a contract by the pimps. They are famous. Their faces on everything. Do they own the rights of their, posi of the, of their intellectual property? No. Somebody else does. Somebody behind the counter, behind the curtain. They own the financial revenue and the intellectual property of the hoe. The artist. Who's the John? Who's the trick? It's the consumer. The one who pays the artist. And the artist gives the money straight to the pimp. The record label. When you sign that contract, you're signing a commitment. When that hoe chooses up with that pimp... They pay them all what they're worth to show how dedicated and in submission to the pimp they are. When you're in the workplace, you can't rebel, you can't act up. Because you'll be punished for your actions and you will have everything taken away from you. And given you're not being given that much anyway, that should be a big enough threat as it stands because you rely on that job to pay your bills to the companies that are also pimping you, taking money off of you. The television companies pimp you over here. We get um we need we need to purchase a television license to watch television to to watch Channels we don't want anyway. We're charged for it. We're taxed for it. Taxation is pimp. The government is in pimp position. But they're still hoes to the people who own them. This whole situation is a pimp game and I'm asking you. Where do you stand? Are you in pimp position or hoe position? Or are you a trick? I'll tell you what them situations will change dependent on where you take the picture and how you perceive things. But one can't work without the other. Everything is a necessity. The pimp can't operate without hoes. So the hoe, 
in a way is pimping the pimp that is then put in the whole position. They say pimping ain't easy, owning a business isn't easy. Heavy is the crown, there is incredible revenue to be made, incredible success to be had, but you have to manage the people, you have to lead the people. And you need to look perfect, because the moment you see failure in the boss, the moment the boss has uncleanly hands, can't keep their hands clean, the holes can exploit that. You see where I'm coming from? The holes don't like being hoes, but need that management as a necessity. Need that dream being sold to them as a necessity. Pimping and hoeing is completely legal. <laughs>